I was given obviously fake evidence that my wife was cheating, but I still don't trust her. Our neighbor told me my, 32 male, wife, 35F, was sleeping with her husband but my wife swears she is innocent and the evidence I was given isn't very good. Not sure what to do. It's been a stressful few days so I will try to make this as short as possible. Me and my wife have been together 9 years, we have 3 kids 6, 3, 1. Our oldest has started socializing a lot and my wife is very insistent on meeting the parents of our children's friends. Our oldest son's closest friend lives less than 5 minute walk away, so we have a friendly relationship with them. They've come over to our house plenty, my wife splits the meat we buy from Costco with them since it's too much for both of our families. The husband Mark and I have been biking together and our sons play soccer together. The day after Valentine's Day his wife Amanda messaged me on Facebook and asked if I could call her and that it was important. I called her right then as my son was currently staying at her house after their soccer practice and I thought something had happened to him. My wife was right by and we were rushing to our car as I was putting her on speaker, and Amanda picks up crying and basically inconsolable. This just makes us freak out more and my wife is driving while I ask what's going on. She starts saying that her husband is liar, my wife is a fraud, and lots of other less than nice names. My wife takes the phone and tells her to stop with the tears and say what's going on and basically be respectful and not call her out of her name. This sends Amanda into a rage and she tells us that her husband and my wife have been having an affair. My wife almost rear ends someone and has to pull over in a turning lane, I'm looking at her and asking what Amanda is talking about. My wife immediately tells her no I'd never do that to my husband you're insane, I'm coming over to get my son. We go over and I can't even think, I'm pretty sure I was just on autopilot at this point. Amanda has never seemed very stable but this was a lot for even her. I go and get our son ASAP. I tell my wife to stay with him while I talk to Amanda. Amanda shows me texts and call logs and photos. But none of these texts match my wife's typing style, some of it is stuff I know she doesn't do when typing. She hates pet names and nicknames but this person used them every single message. Amanda claimed there was inappropriate photos to show and she did show me some photos but only three are surely my wife but these pics were obviously taken from a far distance. And are all of my wife in our pool and jacuzzi at home. Mark isn't there but the screenshots she has do have a phone hash in them. I try calling the phone number and watch my wife from the window. Her phone isn't going off and she just looks confused, not worried. No one answers the call and it goes to voicemail that hasn't been set up. My wife tutors a group of about 15 kids, including Amy and Mark's child, in language skills teaching them Spanish and Korean since my wife is fluent in both. This is something they pay her for and Amanda immediately says she's going to tell everyone. I ask her to just hold off on it because there's no proof it's my wife the nude selfies we saw can't be her because my wife had a cherry reduction surgery and has scars around her inner cherries, and a third cherry under one of her cherries. Amanda agrees to keep it to herself for a while but is 210% sure it's my wife. Mark still isn't picking up my calls and this all happened almost a week ago now. When we got home and away from our kids, I told my wife everything I was told. She started laughing until she could tell I was serious and then started pleading her case, saying she would never cheat on me, she's never cheated on anyone, etc. I ask her to explain why Mark has photos of her in our pool and she seems genuinely confused and creeped out. There's been a few times where she said Mark gave her the creeps, and I'm not trying to say the guy is ugly or anything but he's not exactly in my wife's league. I'm not either, which is why I feel comfortable saying this. Things have been awkward between us now and our kids can sense it. And when I get sad or obviously bothered she tries to be patient but then gets frustrated and says it feels like I have no trust or faith in her. I know for sure Mark isn't faithful to his wife, which isn't my business, but I don't think it's fair for her to just expect me to trust her blindly with such a direct accusation. She's told me I'm punishing her for some loser's sick fantasy. I've checked our call logs, and from what I see she has never called him a single time. Their messages on Facebook are innocent on her behalf. There's a weird random winky face from him, but she never replied to that message at all. I messaged Amanda again yesterday, asking if Mark had confirmed it was my wife. And Amanda says he is refusing to speak with her about it altogether and won't confirm or deny and just tells her that she doesn't need to know more because it will only hurt her. I feel like that makes it obvious it isn't my wife, but Amanda just thinks I'm an idiot who is in love and blind because of it. I have always gotten the feeling that Amanda is jealous of my wife. Some of the comments she has made during this entire situation have only made me sure she's jealous. Comments on my wife's clothes, her body, habits, you name it. I don't know if my wife's anger towards the entire citation is a sign of being truthful, but it's definitely not helping us be able to talk to each other. She was kind and trying to understand for maybe two days, but after that it's been nothing but are you fucking serious type of questions. I really have no clue where to go from here or what to think.